so in this video uh, I'm going to be showing us how we can uh, detect outliers from the IKR method, the intercourse iron method. So here I've set my lower boundary at 0 0.1 and the upper boundary and the upper boundary at 0 0.95. This is the standard for the IKR method. So the next thing I did was just I just uh, divide the half liars. I said the of each dot quantile multiplied by uh, lower boundary and the upper boundary. So let's just print the half liars and that see what that returns to us outliers all right so let's see what it returns then why that is running let us now uh, do some some things okay so let us set our accepted values or accepted hitch accepted all right so we can see here that uh, you know uh, or the code was returned uh, for 0 0.10 uh, 24 was returned and was 0 0.95 since 3 was returned it means that any value below 24 is an outlier and any value that is above 63 is an outlier that is what that's what this means okay so let's set our accepted accepted age accepted underscore age equals uh, equals now we say uh, we open the bracket um, Double bracket there. We set outlier outliers dot look allocation and a square bracket and we say lower lower underscore boundary lower underscore boundary and uh, we come out outside of the square bracket and we say it has to be less than the df dot h dot values okay there's no why we have to pass the value uh syntax or uh, the value key is just for so that the computer can see the values of the, the actual values of the age then we now come out here and say and 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 we open bracket and we say df dot age dot values uh, then less than outliers, less than outliers. Don't look, no, then open a uh, square bracket and we say open underscore uh, boundary. Okay, so we come, we come again, we come down here, we say we set the, the rejected values. Rejected age. Then we said we just rejected it. Then we uh, we said open a bracket there. Then we said it. We said the the f dot age dot values. Then less than uh, outliers outliers dot log. Then uh, we open the square bracket we say lower lower boundary sorry lower boundary and uh, we come outside of this bracket and we say hand again then uh, we open another bracket and we say df df dot age uh, dot values and greater than greater than outliers dot log and then we open a square bracket and say and log the uh, upper upper boundary okay so let yeah, us go on so this is this is our uh, rejection and accepted uh, and accepted acceptance region so we just say uh, then we just say uh, valid we can, we can then say valid uh, really is valid age equals uh, we can say valid age equals uh, let's say uh, uh, df dot age then open a square bracket and say uh, 
accepted accepted mind you it's case sensitive accepted um, age so that's what we have there let me say uh, accepted age and we we now we can now print if you can print directly and say print print uh, valid valid age okay so let's see what that returns to us let's see what that returns to us and why that is running also then it does waste much of our time you can guess uh what this li line of code is going to be okay this next line of code like uh, uh what i want to do is that i want to actually try to print uh i want to actually try to sorry lower boundary is not defined so that's a typographical error there lower boundary is not defined so that's, uh, that's what we have a problem and lower boundary sorry i made a lot of mistakes there all right so lower boundary okay it should be defined now so let us see so what I want to do next is uh, just, I'm just gonna print. I want to view. Uh, you see, this one is gonna it should return uh, something to us, okay? So we can see now that we have uh, we have the ages. We now they have lives, okay? So this is the ages. This this age has been actually uh, redefined and sorted out. So there is no more outlier in this okay so we can't find any outlier in this in this because uh, the next thing we're going to do is that uh, we're going to plot the uh, box plot for it so uh like i was saying i want what i want to do is i want this valid age uh, i want it to i want to add it to uh, our data frame the whole data set so you can guess what i'm going to do you can pause the video for three seconds and maybe write out the code or try it on your computer and uh, guess what I'm gonna do next, okay? Uh, so this is what I'm gonna do. All right, so you're welcome back uh, if you paused the video and if you didn't, no problem. So let us just go on. Don't worry about the code, don't worry. All right, so uh, you're gonna get it later. All right, so I'm gonna say the valid age. I've done this before, okay? The valid age, sorry. So the small letter, valid age equals equals uh valid age okay valid uh underscore age all right so uh what do i want to do next we want to confirm if the half layer has actually been removed and the only way to confirm the best way to confirm now we can use the box plot method okay you can just pause the video and uh you know write out the code for the box plot that we're gonna plot for this uh particular value all right so this is this is it so we're gonna say we can use uh we can just say uh valid age valid age dot plot dot box so let's see what that returns to us all right so that that should be all for now so let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Okay, let's wait for it. Okay, patiently wait for it. All right, it's coming. All right, so this is it. So we can see this box plot. Yeah, uh, this box plot right here. We can see that the half line has been removed, and the hedge lies between. Uh, this concentrated between uh 35 and uh, sorry, between uh, around uh, 30. Eight or so, and uh, 50, 52, and uh, the whole population of lies between uh, 65 and thereabout and uh, 24, uh, 20, 26 or so, and 26. All right, so that is that, that is what we have. So no more advice like uh, it's we 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 really had before. That's just the end of the class, so thank you so much for listening. Uh, you can subscribe.